Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Android. Bhavna Thakkar here and I am starting a new series named Top 5 Series. Today's video tutorial we are going to discuss about Top 5 Libraries for Modern Android Development. So let's get started. The number 5 is Coil. Images are integral part of every Android application be it a sample demo app or your real world production app. Coil is a image loading library for Android backed by Kotlin core routines. So Coil is fast, lightweight, easy to use and modern. Using this link, integrating Coil is just a few minute task. Number 4 is Hilt. Hilt is a dependency injection library for Android that reduces the boilerplate of doing manual injection in your project. If you are new to Hilt, you can refer to Hilt Mad Skills playlist on Android Developers YouTube channel. You can also refer to my Hilt Dependency Injection Android Tutorial at YouTube channel. Number 3 is Data Store. Data Store is Jetpack library which provides data storage solution and allows you to store key value pairs or type objects with protocol buffers. So Data Store is Google's recommended solution for shared preferences and you use it for persistent storage of smaller data sets such as application state or for the data sets for which you have used shared preferences earlier. Number two is Room. Data store is a solution for small data sets and persistent storage. What if you have a large data sets and you work with complex queries or you require referential integrity or partial updates over your data. In that case, you go for Room instead of data store. Room is a persistence library providing abstraction layer over SQLite to allow fluent database access while harnessing the full power of SQLite. And finally, number one is retrofit. You can't work in an app without retrofit because all your app are either going to have some sort of networking operation. Retrofit is a type safe HTTP client for Android and Java. So this is the summary of top 5 libraries we discussed today. Coil for image loading, Hilt for dependency injection, data store for small data sets and persistent storage, room for large data sets and persistent storage and retrofit for networking. There is something common in 4 of them out of 5 except Hilt. All 4 of them are backed by Kotlin core routines. So if you are new to Kotlin coroutines, I suggest you get your fundamentals clear on Kotlin coroutines and then whenever you have any of these use cases, you use these libraries in your app to become a modern Android developer. That's it folks for today's video. See you in my next video tutorial and if you like my videos, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.